I'm happy to be here at the Libertarian Scholar Conference in New York City and today I will talk about one of influential philosophers from, from Eastern Europe about Slavoj Žižek. And let me begin with the two questions. Uh, this is a very simple question. First, do you know who is Mr. Marxist or Slavoj Žižek? Please raise your hand if you know who is Žižek. Okay, and uh, the next question, um, have you ever read at least one book of this philosopher at the first page to the last only one person uh, and I think you are very happy uh, people <laughs> uh, today today I will talk about my uh, Zizek studies. I think this is uh, uh, it, it will be uh, something like mainstream uh, philosophy in the future because uh, the left mo movement became more and more popular. Uh, and uh, I have to say that my presentation uh, will be based on the ideas or in the on the prism of Hayek. Uh, it's very important because we need to understand the roots of leftism and the, cons and the consequence of this. And Zizek, I think, it's a good example of the history of Hayekian ideas, history of ideas. Uh, first of all, I need to, to mention a uh, few facts. Slavoj Zizek was born 70 years ago in the year when was published first edition of Human Action. Uh, he was born in Yugoslavia, uh, today it's Slovenia, I think it, uh, this time it's uh, the most um, richest country uh, in the post-Yugoslavia region and this is interesting because uh, I think all famous leftist is from the richest country, <laughs> not from North Korea, do you know something uh, from China, from North Korea, from Venezuela maybe, no, uh, leftism is a good business, <laughs> cultural Marxism also. Uh, and uh, uh, you have to know that in 2012 foreign policy listed Zizek uh, on its list of top 100 global thinker, calling him as a celebrity philosopher. Uh, he's a very popular figure at the left movement, uh, especially at the limousine left, I think. Uh, because uh, it's uh, uh, very profitable to mix something strange, like Marxism, Christianity, theology, cinema, Freud, Lacan, and all. He's the specialist in every field. Uh, few people think that uh, Zizek was just a clone. Uh, and, uh, for example, Roger Scruton, one of the famous uh, philosopher, modern philosopher, uh, and uh, some believes that he's a dangerous clone, like the Joker, because uh, his jokes is not just fun, but uh, very dangerous for our reason, for capitalism. Uh, he loves mixed everything, but uh, I'm sure in only one idea of Zizek. I'm not sure he's atheist or Christianity, but I'm sure that he's against capitalism. <laughs> it's strange for postmodernists first, but it's true. Uh, what about uh, his uh, roots? Uh, you need to know that uh, Zizek uh, have only two roots for his philosophy. First, uh, he get education uh, in philosophy, this is the, his first degree, and second in psychoanalysis. Philosophy and psychoanalysis, this is all that Zizek needs to create his own philosophy of everything. Uh, as a result of uh, his view, uh, we have more than 60, more than 60 books in different fields. For example, uh, continental philosophy, political theory, cultural studies, 
psychoanalysis, film critics, Marxism, Hegelianism, and theology. That's not all this, but uh, I think you, you agree that this is a very broad field. What about uh, the line, historical line, like uh, in the book of Hayek, Country Revolution of Science? I think the, one of the roots of uh, his uh, philosophy is a utopian uh, French philosopher, Saint-Simon, and uh, line moving through the Marx, Freud, Lacan, and Coca-Cola. I don't know what has happened because we have <coughs> cola at, at this site. Uh, just imagine this philosophy. If you will mix Saint-Simon, Marx, Freud, Lacan, and etc., and drink this, and we'll drink, I think uh, you will uh, <laughs> you will feel something, something strange. It's a very uh, bizarre experience. Uh, and maybe you, you will understand Zizek's, uh, Zizek's idea. If, you, uh, if I tell you about uh, Matrix, I mean the film Matrix, maybe you remember one of the scenes of this uh, movie. Uh, there is uh, Neo have to choose uh, one of the pill, red and blue. Uh, one is reality, uh, and uh, another, this is a matrix. And uh, Zizek, he's a specialist in cinema also, uh, said for us, it's not correct. It's not the correct uh, choice for us. We need to mix these two pills. Reality and matrix. And after these pills, we can make something like Zizek's philosophy. <coughs> something strange. But what about the predecessor of uh, this philosophy? It's very interesting because we can find a philosopher from German, German blend of Christian Messianist and Marxist Leninist Stalinist, Ernst Bloch. Ernst Bloch was a very popular philosopher in the middle of the 20th century, and uh, you can find in this text. Uh, in the text of this after, after next. Uh, there is Lenin, is, there is uh, Jerusalem, and that the Bolshevik fulfillment of communism is part and parcel of the age old fight for God. There is also more than a hint in Bloch that disease, not even death itself, will be abolished upon the advent of communism. Uh, this is uh, something amazing. And uh, Zizek uh, is the author, I said about it, uh, more than 60 books. One of these books is Reading Marx. Uh, you need to know that Reading Marx is the best way to, to reunion of the spirit of Marx. We lost this experience, like in Christianity, and you need to uh, reunion. And the author of this book is Zizek. Ruda and Gregor Zamza. Sorry, Hamza. Uh, what uh, is the contents uh, of this book? Let me call, quote, because this is a very interesting example of this text. Uh, I think uh, you, you, you can read only these uh, sentences. It, in, it will be enough for understanding on all this uh, philosophy. Uh, this book is an attempt to create an unexpected reunion with Marx. Not to bury him and us once and for all, but to reflect one possible ways of how to reunite uh, emancipatory thinking again with his name. Since maybe we have only a few things left to do, and we shall join him soon, and soon the day will down. Philosophy hour has always been the moment when day turns to dusk. So, let us begin doing that needs to be done. Reading Marx. It uh, sounds like uh, something esoterical. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, it's a correct uh, overview of uh, this philosophy because uh, Zizek's philosophy is uh, something like mystic Marxism, esoteric Marxism, irrational Marxism or something else. Because uh, economic theory of uh, Marxism is abrogated right now. But uh, uh, left hope that in the future they could reunion with the spirit of 
Mars. Mars. Uh, now, we need to wait new reunion. And what is the best way to wait? Reading Marx. <laughs> this is the best step for the revolution. Uh, maybe you know this uh, cartoon, because uh, I think it's a, a good explanation for Zizek uh, part of the markets of idea. The, uh, this is a cartoon, left in, is a good business. Uh, this is a shop, the uh, capitalism is dead, souvenirs and etc. Uh, everyone to buy a cup and shit with uh, uh, capitalism is dead and trader called to his friend, I think we found a growth market. Uh, Anti-capitalist movement, uh, cultural Marxism, Zizek philosophy, uh, it's a good uh, business. Uh, it's a very interesting a fact that uh, Zizek not only researcher at the Department of Philosophy of University of Ljubljana, also he is a global scholar at Kyungsi University, Seoul, Korea. Of course, not North Korea, because it's more profitable to be philosopher in Seoul, not North Korea, and to retire over through capitalism, because capitalism is a source of mass unemployment, uh, this is the source of alienation, exploitation, etc., etc., uh, and etc. Uh, and uh, I think it's a good picture for understanding who is Mr. Marxist, who is uh, Zizek. Uh, also, Zizek is a fan of democracy. I'm not, but uh, uh, let's uh, compare his ideas uh, through the time. Uh, I will short only this uh, uh, sentence I will read. The main victim of the ongoing crisis, of course crisis will be as a result of capitalism, is thus not capitalism which appears to be involving into an even more pervasive and per 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 pernicious form but democracy. Uh, democracy is very important value for Zizek. Capitalism is something like the absolute evil. Democracy is good. He is a fan of democracy. Next. But what about uh, his reaction on the election in the Greece in 2013? Uh, I think you know something about the election of Syriza. And uh, Zizek said about uh, elections. If they, Greeks, don't support Syriza, then you my vision of the democratic future, all those people, not for Syriza voting, will get from me is a first class one way ticket to a gulag. Uh, not to digital gulag, <laughs> I think. We, we know it, d digital gulag, but for real gulag. And this, is a, this guy is a fan of democracy. Capitalism as a source of destruction of democracy. But Zizek, I think it's in something against democracy, no? It's not a problem uh, for Zizek because in one page he told about one thing and another page something different. It's very interesting. Uh, Zizek hates uh, fake news. Uh, he told about uh, propaganda, but what about his own experience? He is uh, the author of miniseries called How to Watch the News uh, at the Russian Today Network. <laughs> this guy against propaganda. He hates fake news. Fake news. But he loves Russia Today. <laughs> Nothing personal, just business. <laughs> Cultural Marxism is a good idea. Uh, I think this picture is a good. Um, uh, symbol of Zizek philosophy, not because this is a white uh, <laughs> picture, <laughs> but next. Zizek sometimes said, I am Stalinist, because uh, he had a picture of Stalin at this uh, uh, university in his office, but uh, sometimes he said something another. It was a joke. I'm not Stalinist. But in another situation, he speaks as it was serious. 
Uh, he is a result of this bizarre mix of Hegelianism, Marxism, and etc. And uh, it, it not so strange because he was a Communist Party member until October 1988. I think it's very uh, good uh, ability for the member of the party to have different views at one moment, simultaneously. Uh, but real Soviet experience was closed with the collapse of Soviet economy. It was so sad. This is a, a picture of Jan Zizek. And this is very interesting because after collapse, he founded the party. He founded the party, and the name of this party was... What do you think was what is the uh, name of his party? Liberal Democracy Party. <laughs> Uh, but now we are waiting new reunion. What we have to do? Uh, do you know what the picture means? He looks at the as picture like a Stalin. He's close. Uh, his uh, clothes. And mouth. Yeah. And mouth, yes. Uh, in Marx we trust, but uh, we need to do right now. And the second idea, we will be the witnesses of the new coming spirit of Marx. And as a result, revolution. I told, you, I told you about his party. I think it's a good uh, name for the, his party, LSD party. <laughs> Sorry, LDS party. I think it will be more interesting if the party will be <laughs> named LSD. It's correct, I think, uh, name for his uh, philosophy. But uh, Liberal Democra uh, Democracy Party of Slovenia, in the beginning of the 90s, Marxist, Liberal Democracy, etc., etc. It's very interesting. What is socialism? What about the future of socialism in the view of uh, Zizek? Uh, uh, he used Lenin's idea. So, today I am going to attempt to paraphrase Lenin's well-known slogan. Socialism equal electrification plus the power of the Soviet. I think you know this slogan. But, in the Zizek view, socialism is free access to the internet and the power of Soviet. Now, we have a part of this. But we need to get something more for uh, Zizek. Uh, and I think if you try to understand a few books of Zizek, it will be very difficult. Because the correct name of Zizek, I think it's not Mr. Marxist. I think it's a Mr. Abracadabra. For most, maybe for every Marxist, it's the same. Uh, but let's try. Let's try to analyze this text. This is interesting. In the two sentences, we have very different ideas. Let's try to catch this idea. In sex, sex is also uh, his field of investigation. He's a specialist in sexual relationship, not only economy, politics, theology, Christianity, filmmaking, and something and more. In sex, the true hegemonic attitude is not patriarchal repression, but free pro promiscuity in art, suddenly. Provocation is the style of the notorious sensation exhibition are the norm. The example of art fully integrated in the establishment. I understand nothing. Ayn Rand, suddenly, <laughs> brought this logic, amazing, logic. You saw this logic, I'm, I'm not. In sex, Prepos Prunskati, art, Ayn Rand, what is this? Uh, Ayn Rand brought this logic to its conclusion. Fantastic. Uh, supplementally, this uh, kind of Hegelianic twist. Ayn Rand was Hegelian. It's interesting. That is reasserting the official ideology itself as its own greatest transgression. As in the title of one of her late nonfiction books, Capitalism, This I Know Ideal, or in Top Managers, America's Last Endangered Species. Uh, this is the revolution at the gates. We are waiting this uh, revolution at this moment, and this is the philosophy of Zizek. I think it's something like absurd. Uh, I, I can't analyze this. It's something difficult. This is the picture of uh, his office with uh, Stalin. Stalin is a honest man. This is the uh, words of uh, Zizek. Uh, this is the picture of Stalin. And also he lost his not only office, 
This is his bedroom, I think, and Stalin uh, near him uh, and in the dreams. Not only when he walked, but uh, when he sleep. Uh, what about uh, his uh, view of uh, politics, current politics? It's very interesting. Uh, for example, uh, all, all you know about the Yellow West movement in the France, and uh, Zizek, I think, correctly said that they claim something impossible. I think it's a true idea, but what is the conclusion of this? It's interesting. We need bureaucratic socialism. This is an example of the Zizek's logic. logic. Uh, maybe uh, you saw the battle between uh, Zizek and Peterson. I think it's uh, not the uh, best example of Zizek critiques. Uh, at this moment, uh, we need, I think, uh, uh, more and more critiques of this philosophy. But uh, in this debate, Zizek said uh, about uh, the uh, Peterson critiques of the universities in the United States, uh, especially postmodernism and Marxism. And the uh, reaction of uh, Zizek was, where are the Marxists? I don't know, no one in the academia. Uh, Peterson, uh, just silence about this, <laughs> this point of view. But it is an interesting uh, discussion because uh, Zizek said, that he is not a fan of Communist Manifesto, because Peterson, uh, I think, uh, uh, had chosen not uh, the best way for critiques of socialist movement, because uh, he chose Communist Manifesto. And after Peterson, Zizek said that uh, it's not a problem, because I don't believe in uh, the Communist Manifesto is relevant for today. And, and today, in this year, Zizek published a new book, <laughs> the relevance of communist manifesto. Um, what about good conversation with troll? It's something difficult. Uh, Marx was a troll in 19th century, Zizek I think is a troll in 21st century, but uh, this is the same way, because it's very difficult to uh, explain something for a man who, say, uh, who said something strange. Conclusions. Uh, what, about the, what about the current point of my presentation? First, Zizek text is crazy mix of truth and fake. And truth is also uh, that we, you, you could find in his texts. Zizek don't have comprehensive philosophy. He is, speciali he is specialist in everything. Uh, Zizek used jokes, stories, cinema, Freud, Marx, etc. for anti-capitalistic movements. It's normal to use jokes, stories, and etc., but it's not enough. You need something more. You need uh, comprehensive philosophy or economic theory, social theory, like Mises, Hayek, or Rothbard, maybe. Uh, but uh, you couldn't find, couldn't find this in the text of Zizek. It's something like uh, destructive of our reason. It's a, a very contradictional system. Uh, you can find absolutely contradiction phrases in the text by Zizek. I told you about examples of this. Zizek philosophy is very destructive for Western civilization, but uh, I have to mention that at this moment we don't have uh, the good antidote against this type of philosophy. Uh, if you visit every bookstore in Moscow, St. Petersburg, New York City, and uh, in London, uh, you could find uh, Zizek in the bestseller, but you couldn't find Rodber and Satter. Uh, a few days ago, I was at the stand bookstore in uh, Manhattan, and uh, this uh, bookstore was very popular in the period of Rodber's Rodber seminar in New York City. Uh, this is, I think, uh, his lovely bookstore in uh, the city. Uh, you can find Zizek books, but no one Robert books. Uh, and uh, something like our view of modern leftism, because the Zizek is a part of mod modern leftism. I think we have a two branches of modern leftism. One branch is something uh, humanitarians. 
the postmodernism and Marxist. I think it's a good example of this is a Zizek. Hey, hate capitalism, but uh, they don't have something like big theory, uh, like science or something like this. But another branch of modern leftism is a technocrats. They believe that we can organize, can organize society through the technocrats' signals, uh, fiat, and etc. And example, best example for me of technocrats is, of course, Paul Krugman. He is scientist. He thinks that uh, social theory uh, have to be like uh, natural science and uh, statism. Statism, scientism, Marxism, and postmodernism. It's the mix of modern leftism. But what we really need is to, uh, to create something like antidote against new leftism. Thank you.